Yeah, good evening again. And this is uh, Abu Broncos here in your house today again. Today we're going to discuss about things that me and you know that sometimes we need to abide by, we need to give a respect to, so that our lives will be meaningful. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about law. The laws in this world. The laws that actually protect each and every one of us. The laws that when we do, it will make us live in a nice life or have a, a, a nice environment that each and every one will have a peace to live in. Or each and every one will have, a, you know, some peaceful mind so that we can enjoy our lives. So all that I'm saying is that there are laws now, but is the laws, are they working? Are the laws working for some people and it doesn't work for some people? Are the laws working for the rich people and it doesn't work for the poor people? Is it actually protecting the, uh, the, the vulnerable or is it protecting the poor people or is it protecting the rich people? I, I, I actually see that sometimes the law doesn't work for everybody. It works for some people and it doesn't work for some people. The laws will be make or will make the laws, but the laws sometimes doesn't work because we don't enforce them. Or the people that are supposed to enforce the laws are not doing so. So the, the people who are downtrodden are suffering. The people that are vulnerable are suffering. Why am I saying this? There are certain places where, especially in my own country, Ghana, people are working, but some people can go through like three or four months and they are not being paid. What are they going to eat? How are we thinking about ourselves? Is that the way the law is? The law says some people will be under the poverty line, down, 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 down. Now, people will be unrobbers because they don't probably have a job. I'm not saying if you don't have a job, you should be an unrobber. That is not what I'm saying. But the law protects that everybody should get something to do. That is why we have politicians. And those who do not have works, at least here in some of the uh, uh, European countries, they have unemployment for people who are not working. Some have uh, you know, disability. Like, if they cannot work, the government helps them in a way. If they are uh, uh, they are pensioners, they, they, they have some kind of something that cushions them a little bit. But in some of the countries, even though you're working, they will not even pay you for all these months. If you are on pension, even to get your pension pay, you need to probably uh, 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 slash this into two. And then the manager or whoever it is will take half before you can get your money. I'm not saying it's everybody that is doing that, but sometimes it happens. Where are the laws that guide guides all those things? In, in, in a country, we have all kinds of people that are supposed to protect us in this. There are lawyers there. There are politicians. There are presidents. There are pastors. There are priests. People who should talk against things like this. There's something that does not belong to you. It's not yours. Don't take it. But we, we don't actually know that. So these laws are not working. Internationally, we have all kinds of laws. That one nation cannot just get up and go and kill other people. Look at what is happening in Russia. And uh, in, in, in Ukraine. How Russians are actually killing the Ukrainians. But there are international laws. How can we leave a country to go and slaughter other countries just like that? And the people in this other country do not know anything. Nobody sits down and discuss anything with anybody. And because of somebody's greediness, because somebody is not happy with someone somewhere, because somebody wants to take a land that will not, you will not do anything with it. 
Why are we killing ourselves because of all these things? But there's, 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 there are laws that prevent people from doing that. That people can, I mean, it, it is not lawful for someone to take a gun and went into somebody's house, go and shoot them and take their property. But we have police in, in the system. But sometimes the policemen themselves are the people that goes and do all these things. We trust our safety in them. But then sometimes it doesn't work that way. Because they are the ones that are supposed to enforce it, but they are not enforcing it. What are we doing? So Christ gave us uh, a law. And the law he gave us is nothing but to love one another. Because if I love you, I wouldn't like to see your blood oozing out. I wouldn't like to kill you because I love you. I put myself into your shoe. But without love, there's nothing that we can do. We got to respect each other, you know. <coughs> Otherwise, we'll keep on killing ourselves all the time because of unnecessarily things that, you know, is surrounding us. We'll be doing things that we're not supposed to do. So, we're just slaughtering each other. For what? Nobody knows. We are human beings. We got to get some sense and see the things that we do. And the national community will sit down and they will be discussing things every day. And people will be dying in Ukraine. Blood will be oozing. Kids will be suffering. Pregnant women, uh, the, the uh, dis disabled are all suffering. But everybody is sitting down. It happens in everywhere. In our homes, in our, our, our villages, people are so cruel that we don't actually practice the love or we because we don't believe Christ. Is that what is making is these things happen? We need to learn and do better things for ourselves so that the whole world will be a peaceful place for all of us to be able to enjoy. Thank you. May God bless you and we'll talk again. I hope. We're going to change sometimes, some days to come. Then we'll all be happy on this universe.